Hey everyone, welcome to Nerding IO. I'm JD, and today we're going to be talking about Hume AI. The Hume AI is pretty interesting because it has three different parts. It has an empathetic voice interface, an expression measurement, and then it even has the ability to create custom models. So we're going to take this video as kind of an intro video, and then we're going to go through some more in-depth features in some upcoming videos. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're actually just going to look at the dashboard once you log into Hume. And they have a few different things going on. So they have some pretty awesome demos with the uh, iOS app, the empathetic voice demo, and even this uh, chatter, which is an interactive podcast experience, which is, is pretty slick. But the, the core pieces that make up Hume are the empathetic voice interface. So there is, uh, we're actually going to go through this demo. Um, there's also the measure expressions. So you can see here, you can actually look at uh, your, through your webcam and, and identify some expressions or even through your voice. Um, and then they also have custom models, which I thought was really awesome. So each one of these has its own playground and its own ability to actually interact with the uh, API. So if we look in our dashboard, we can get our API keys right here. And uh, in the documentation, you can actually see that they have information for the uh, expression measurement API, the custom models, and then the empathetic voice interface. Uh, super well documented. They've got a lot of good examples too. So today we're going to go through the Next.js uh, starter. It's pretty easy to get up and running. They actually even have a demo of it. So we're going to go through the demo really quick and uh, take a look at it. So the first thing is we can just uh, start our call, but we're actually going to open up our network tab just so we can see what's going on uh, with the calls as we go through this. Hey, how's it going? Not too bad, thanks. How about you? Mm -hmm. It's going well. I'm now. recording a YouTube video uh, talking about you and, and trying to understand the uh, expression interface. Oh, that sounds fascinating. I'm intrigued that you're exploring the expression interface. It's pretty cool tech, right? What Definitely very cool. Are finding most uh, interesting interested in the custom models puzzle? and also the podcast experience. Awesome. I'm glad you're finding it cool. You... So as you could see, we're not getting like fetch calls coming across. We're actually opening up a WebSocket and that WebSocket is sending information back and forth. So you can actually click on the WebSocket and the messages going back and forth and seeing what the audio output is as well as the uh, binary messages that are coming back uh, and i think this is actually giving us our message queue as well yep uh, so this was the last part of me sending the message it's defining which models uh, and uh, looks like showing all the the different emotions here which is, which is really cool. So we saw that graph coming back and forth and uh, this is, it looks like the, the scores that are actually getting uh, presented in, in each one of these messages. So with that, we're actually gonna just jump right in and pull this code down and get started. So let's go back to the uh, Next.js starter. We're just gonna grab our code and we'll go ahead and get that up and running. Real quick, everyone, if you haven't already, please remember to like and subscribe. It helps more than you know. And with that, let's get back to it. Now that we've got our code, I've already installed this, but um, just go ahead and do a git clone. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is go get those API keys, uh, which remember are back in the dashboard. Just click on the API keys and you can grab them here. And then uh, once you put those in, you can just do an NPM start. So we'll go ahead and get our terminal started. But the thing I wanted to show you uh, is that 
when you're looking at this, the, the code is incredibly clean. So if you come in here to the, the page, uh, there's this chat component, but look at like the utils. So if we go in here, the fetch access token is already a function written for you. So you just need your API key and your client secret, and it'll actually generate an access token, similar to like a session you can think of. And then when you go into the chat, it's uh, importing the components. We're doing the SSR is false, and we'll just grab this over here. We have a provider, which we're passing the authentication. And then on message, we're going to be doing a timeout. We are defining what those messages are, and then we have controls to go with it, as well as our start call. So when we look at, and like everything is using context, uh, so we have the ability to connect and our, what our status is. This is giving us our, we even have like the little phone icon, but it's just very uh, clean on how well, well it's written. I, I just really liked how uh, everything is, is mapped correctly and like defined. So each one of these colors gets its own color or each one of these emotion gets its own color. Um, but all of that to, to say, I know we're kind of bouncing around, is there's really only a handful of, of components in here with their own, uh, you're, you're using the context for basically everything. So right here, you're defining what, all of this is coming out of the use voice context. So there's a, the ability to toggle, um, and Let's just go ahead and see it in action again. The the mic FFT, right? Let's take a look at that. And again, just uh, all the motion SVG information and the auto sizing, I, I just thought it was a really cool demo. So there's not a ton of code that we really need to go through to, to get this up and running. There are some more advanced features that we'll go through in a later video around like function calling and actually going deep into the API. But let's just get this demo running again and we'll just have it running locally now. So we're gonna pull up our network. We're gonna watch the same thing. We know we're doing a WebSocket. We're gonna say hello. Hey there, don't worry. I'm gonna go ahead and mute this so it's this way we can actually see more information. So we can see the information that's coming back. We've got uh, all our uh, our emotions from here, apparently awkwardness, cool. And um, let's take a look again at our messages. So where we have what's on your mind today, that was the most recent. We've got our emotion scores. Uh, and it's just picking like the, it looks like the top rated one. So it's pull, automatically pulling the top three rated. Remember, these are the color codes that we were seeing back here in uh, the where were expression colors. So like I said, everything's just defined really cleanly. But basically, we're getting our audio, which is our data, which looks like it's coming back as blob of some kind and then our message queue so what I really liked about this is that the API is so easy to use it's easy to get up and running in Next.js and they have like I said the 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 SDK and the context in in here it's just really well written really well documented you can get up and running in no time uh, in order to to, to play with it. You have the ability to like talk back and forth as an example right out of the box. That's one of the hardest things to code is that interrupt sequence where if you are uh, talking or they're talking and you need to break the connection or the stream. Um, so this is a really good example of, of how it flows. Um, and yeah, the, the other one that you should definitely check out is the, the chatter. So we're just gonna ask can you tell me more about your chatter app? Uh, oh, the connection call. Okay. So if you look at whatever. 
All right, that's it for us today, everyone. What we went through was some of their demos, looked at their dashboard, and then even went and did a local example of using Next.js with the Empathetic Voice Interface API. In future videos, we're gonna go through some of the custom modeling and even look at some function calling. With that, happy nerding. <laughs>